Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I am making an enormous bag that folds flat so you can make them in advance. Now, this is modelled on one I had. So I had these bags um, to take on the incentive trip for me. So I was giving gifts to my team members who were there um, and a couple of other people as well. And I thought they were really nice, but they were expensive to make, uh, expensive to buy. Um, so I thought, I'm gonna make my own. And I literally took these measurements um, and made my own. So I've designed it. So the bag finishes up at, sorry, let me just pop that up. It is seven inches this way, nine inches that way, and four inches that way, which in metric is 18 centimetres by 23 by 10. So it's a whopper. Um, and this is using the Lay Shop um, paper, which is gorgeous. I've got, the cat's just walked across my desk and she's put cat hairs on my face. Um, it's the Lay Shop. So you're gonna need two of this. So you gotta really like that person. <laughs> <laughs> to use the paper. Anyway, you want full sheets of 12 by 12 inches, 30 and a half by 30 and a half centimetres. Okay, so we're going to do almost exactly the same measurements um, on both of them. Basically, you're going to do the same measurements, uh, sorry, scoring on both and then an additional on one of them. So, you want to start with your paper the right way round because we're going to be doing this score line, this one, and a little one that's hidden back there. Okay, and they come at, oh, there's cat hairs everywhere. <sighs> Caught underneath my glasses. Okay, so score it at seven and nine and 11. Oh, I just queried myself then for a second. It's this, sorry, yeah, it's this score line, that one, and that one we're doing. <laughs> 7, 9, and 11, which in metric is 18, 23, and 28. And I've just whacked my, my microphone. There we go. So do that the same on both. And then on... Why am I writing 9 inches? Okay. 7, 7 9, 11. Turn it so it's the that way round and score it at nine inches. So you're scoring the bottom, okay? You're scoring this one. And I'm gonna come and do exactly the same again. Um, seven, nine, and 11, which is 18, 23, and 28. Turn it that way, score it at the nine inch mark which is 23 centimetres. But on this one, you're also going to uh, score it at seven inches, um, which is 18 centimetres, or at the 18 centimetre mark. I'm gonna pop that off to one side. Okay. Leave it that way. So burnish the score lines, not this narrow one, we want this one. This one is going to go in that way. And then that one at the bottom. All right. And then the same over here. that bottom one. So this is the one that has got the extra score line in, which is actually this part here. That's this score line that's being created. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and I can see it on here. Um, one of my children's about to come in the house. I'm probably going to yell up the stairs. Hi, mum. Um, because I've just seen it pull up. Okay, so he's got a noisy engine, a noisy exhaust. So we've got this score line that goes down into the middle, and I'm going to go from that horizontal line that I've not yet scored. I'm going to go from here, that point, down to the corner to create triangles. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. I actually need to do it on this one as well. 
which hasn't been attached to anything and doesn't have a score line, okay? Because I haven't put the horizontal, because I want it perfectly flat on one side um, with the score on the back, so there's no score line there. So literally, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my ruler, oops, just line it up. So I'm just lining everything. There is no horizontal line there, but I'm gonna put one and just mark, oops, with the end of my paper piercer. And that's marking it right underneath the ice cream cone so that I now know where to put my diagonal score lines in. Okay, one there. And one there. Right, let's start putting this together. I need a big pair of scissors. Do I think I've got any in my drawer? Where are all my big scissors? I've got like five pairs that should be in a drawer to my right. Oh, they're not in the basket, that's why. Okay, so on both of them we're doing exactly the same. We're removing the same bits. So that bit there, and then cut straight on this one that we have scored. And then same over here that piece away mm -hmm. Oop. and then straight on that one all right so I'm just going to gently bend this one away so you can see what I'm forming it's going to be like that and the same one here just the upper part not really the bottom then I'm thinking liquid glue might be better so just along this tab, oh that cat hair is walking across my face and I'm just going to line it up there and I'm lining it up here as well. I hope you haven't got the top of my head on camera. Okay, so that's sealed and I'm going to run some glue along this tab here. Again, line that up. Okay, so let me put that out of the way. Um, just while I'm holding that kind of in place on each side, I'm gonna get a whole punch. So, we have a an obvious front and back. Where I've got this horizontal score line, that's the back, this is the front. So I'm gonna fold in my two sides. I wonder if I can get hold of them and the back and that one is going to flip over so I'm just going to put some tape along here just for speed and peel off the back and bring that around okay so now that's essentially the bag made. So you need to manipulate it to get this to seal and to fold. And you only want that crease here in the bag. So just walk your fingers up the sides and just gently press. And it is suddenly gonna give. <laughs> there we go it's suddenly given way and I put my thumbs on it to get it to go so it's going to start walking oh it's following the wrong score line it was giving way but in the wrong place there we go just helped it by putting my fingers just inside there to make it flat and that is your fantastic fold flat bag so that suddenly went when it was flat whoopsie oh I need to put some glue in that bit <laughs> I didn't put any glue under those bits oops that's the side panels anyway so what I did is as I was pushing it pushed it with my fingers and you can see it's folding in following those score lines and essentially collapsing down all you need to do then is pop 
some holes in it and I'm trying to avoid, I don't want it doubling up on this layer here. I'm going to put the holes at this point. On there and one there. So it's missed these parts. It hasn't gone through there. And then just grab a nice pretty ribbon. Ooh, what colours have I got in my um, hmm. I want a bright yellow, but I don't have a bright yellow. Maybe there's pink. That could work. I have this one. This one's part of a duo with some lemon lolly. Um, that's the other one. I used it the other day on a video. It's lovely. And basically I'm just going to shove it through. Oops. So I'm going to shove that through a couple of times and you know what? I actually need I want the knot on the inside so let me get that nice pointed bit. I think it's through. Now I can get my two ends together, tie a knot. Trim off the excess. And then once those have gone, and I can I can fiddle about with getting my the lengths of my ribbon the same. But that is how to make your own fold flat bag. I will come in and sort out those that bit there. You still haven't forgot to glue the tabs in. That is how you do it. Magic, huh? And then decorate as you want. But you know what, I spent 12 minutes just making the bag. Maybe a tag with some of the stamped images. I don't know great gift bags you can make loads of those in advance you could and I've got it to one side this arrived just as I was prepping filming so this is the delightfully eclectic which I got I got it this at 15% off so it was super cheap there are I want to say 48 sheets 48 sheets in here so you know it's one of these packs that would be brilliant for making these I mean that's fabulous as well I um, can't wait to play with that look at those that reminds me of the Swarovski swan fabulous anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you very soon bye